Big waves in the building, man. What's up with y'all boys, man? What's up with the world, man? What's happening? What's good with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling after this win, man? Me, I'm feeling pretty good, man. We're going to talk about it today. Welcome to Man Carolina Panthers Real Talk Episode 6. Y'all already know how I go down on these things, man. We talk that real talk about the Carolina Panthers. How they feeling, how they doing, man. What's the mood of everything? How y'all feeling? What's y'all thoughts and y'all opinions? Man, y'all make sure to tune in. Today's episode is going to be great, man. We got that first win, beating the New Orleans Saints, man, 22 to 19. Shout out to Carolina Panthers, man, for getting that first win of the season. And the first win on nine game, we was able to stop the bleeding. The bleeding that stopped. We, we, we finally got a win. Panther Nation, man, turn up, man. As always, man, y'all make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to smash that like button. Listen, man, we're so close to hitting that 100 mark. I want to say thank you, man, to all of the people out there that have supported your boy through this journey. Again, guys, we are just in the beginning stages. I'm working on getting my setup, all the proper equipment that I need to give you guys better content, man. I got a lot of exciting stuff planned for this channel. It's going to be, this shit is going to take off. I'm not even going to lie. It's going to be a whole live wave. I'm going to be surfing the fuck out of this channel, man. As things in my life start to calm down and get a little bit more normalized, we're going to be able to do a ton when it comes to this channel, man. So y'all make sure to stay tuned, man. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications because eventually this shit going to be coming back to 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 back for y'all, man. So y'all make sure, man, to tune in, man. And again, thank y'all so much. Shout out to my affiliate podcast. Y'all already know y'all can catch me on Panthers Unsystem, man, when we go live on there. Keep pounding TV as well. Shout out to all my uh, fellow co-hosts. Y'all already know the Beat Kite. Man, shout out to him. Paul's up in the air, man. That boy Black Panther Podcast. Black Cat Panther Podcast. Shout out to that boy Q-Dub and Lonzo over there. Unk underscore 2020, man. Y'all make sure to like and subscribe to his channel. I am Nate TV, man. Y'all make sure to like and subscribe to his channel. And my boy Classic, the classic man, the distinguished gentleman, man. Y'all make sure to go and like and subscribe to that channel. Hey, we got that win yesterday, man. How y'all feel about it, man? Before I even die, man, y'all make sure to drop in the comments how this win makes y'all feel. I want to know. I want to know, man. Are we excited, man? How did y'all think we look, man? How do, what, what y'all what y'all thoughts, man? I got to know. I got to know, man. So y'all make sure to put them comments below. Let me know what's going on because I'm about to talk, to talk about it, man. I want to talk about this win. I'm feeling so good. I'm excited, man. Y'all already know. But, hey, before we do that. This is Carolina Panthers Real Talk Episode 6. Carolina Panther Real Talk Episode 6. Carolina Panther Real Episode 6. We live. We lit. We about to get rich. We about to make them plays. We about to make them hits. These niggas throwing fits. Because big waves of shit. All right, I'm going to keep going. Hey, Carolina Panthers win the game, man, over the New Orleans Saints Divisional foe. 12, I'm sorry, 22 to 19 was the final score, man. So the first thing that stands out about this game, shout out to that Carolina Panthers defense, man. This defense dominated the whole football game. All aspects. Jameis, Kamar, shut down. Granted, I know people will say, well, Jameis Winston threw for 335, y'all. Listen, those are ghost stats. He really did not look good. Listen, he honestly doesn't look healthy. He really doesn't look healthy. We were able to, shout out to that boy Phil Snow, man, for the design pressures and blitz packages that he was able to send at Jameis. Jameis didn't, wasn't, didn't know what to do when those blitzes came. But for overall, the secondary held these boys in check. We took a lot of deep throws, really testing our secondary, man. Jeremy Chin, man, if you ask me, was the MVP. Him and Frankie Louvu had the biggest games on the defensive side of the ball for us yesterday. That defensive line still was a non-fucking factor. I think Derrick Brown made a couple big plays in there. Eric Nidus made one play. But listen, that defensive end position opposite of Brian Burns, it is absolutely treacherous, guys. We got to put somebody over there. I don't, Fitterer, you need to get on the line. You need to be calling somebody up. Hit Chicago up. We need Robert Quinn ASAP. We need the linebacker ASAP. You need to get Roquan Smith. We got to add some pieces to that front seven, man, because, again, we did a good job of holding Kamara in check for the most part. Not going to talk too bad about this defense, but I think we only had one one sack in this game, and it was a blitz that came from a corner or a linebacker that made that sack. Again, 
the defensive line is, you know, Brian Burns, when he gets double teamed, he's really a non-factor. But for the most part, the defense held their own as I expected them to do. They came out here and did what they were supposed to do. Honestly, if this defense continues to play like this, guys, we got a chance to be in every football game. Every football game, if the defense continues to play at the level that they was playing at yesterday. And it had me really excited to see, man, because, again, we come into the season, we knew the defense was going to have to win a lot of those close games that we've lost traditionally in the past. And they showed today that they were able to do that, right? And there, it did become a little leaky at the end of the game, but you can't expect a defense to hold up as long as that defense did. They kept the, uh, a really powerful Saints team on paper in check. Just wanted to give them uh, their praise, man, because, again, I feel like the defense won this game for us. So shout out to everybody on the defensive side of the ball for their efforts and their play yesterday, right? So that's the first point I want to make about yesterday. And my first observations, overall, the defense played phenomenal. Second observation that I want to make, the Saints are not a good football team. I mean, guys, they could not get anything going whatsoever on the offensive side of the ball. You know, uh, Jameis Winston does not look healthy. I think that they need to put him down until he can get to 100%. I think that back is really bothering him. He threw a lot of inaccurate passes yesterday, especially down the field. Uh, his decision-making, you know, was just off yesterday. Uh, when under pressure, you know, he didn't make a lot of good reads on a lot of good throws. Uh, you know, again, he threw for 300 yards, but again, a lot of those were big chunk plays, uh, deep balls that he was able to get. Overall, he didn't play well at all. Their whole offense, the run game, couldn't get going. I don't think that the Saints are a really good football team. They they just don't look the same as the Sean Payton Saints. Um, and honestly, guys, I, I could see them potentially struggling this year. I really do. I think that they could be really in a fight for that second and third place in this division with us, right? So, again, I, I didn't really – I think the competition level just wasn't there. I think, honestly, uh, we really should have blown them out, right? Like, we should have been up probably – this probably game should have – we should have had about 35, maybe closer to 40 points in this game. You know, um, the Saints are just not good. And so, the Saints fans, your football team is not a good football team. I just want to say that right now. Uh, you know, good luck for the rest of the season. All right, so that's my second point. The third point, guys. The offense looks dreadful. And I know what everybody's going to say. Waves is not the whole offense. It's not. It's not the whole offense. It's just Baker Mayfield. Well, if the guy playing the most important on the offense is doing bad, that means the whole offense is doing bad, right? Guys, I'm going to say it again, and I've said it all along. Baker Mayfield is not the answer at quarterback. He's not the answer at QB, guys. If anybody else thinks he is the answer at quarterback, you are sadly mistaken, guys. He was terribly inaccurate yesterday. To talk about his numbers, he was 12 for 25, 170 yards, one touchdown. I think he finished with a QBR of like 80% or, uh, 80 or something like that. Real pedestrian-type numbers. DJ Moore only had six targets, one reception for two yards, right? He is your best weapon on this offensive side of the ball, not named Christian McCaffrey. You have to find a way to get the ball into your playmaker's hands. Uh, even with those targets to him, Baker May Mayfield missed him by a yard. There was a times where DJ Moore was wide open in the end or wide open and Baker Mayfield did not just get him. He just couldn't get him the ball. Um, Baker Mayfield decision making on a lot of these plays just wasn't there. I have not been impressed with nothing that number six has done through the first three games. Honestly, sitting at one and two right now, I feel like Sam Darnold could have done the same thing, right? Like, I, I really could have. And honestly, last year he started a season three and oh. So, I mean, I we brought this guy in to be a difference maker, right? To improve the quarterback position. And I haven't seen it. It just hasn't flashed. Um, and the offensive line actually played pretty decent yesterday. The offensive line gave him chances to make the throws. Baker just couldn't do it, like especially on those back shoulder throws. You can tell that there is no kind of connection with the wide receivers whatsoever, particularly DJ Moore. I just don't think that it's there. Um, and I don't know if it gets better as the season progresses. I don't know what happens with that, guys. But it is very much clear that after four years of trying and taking chances – and swinging and missing, 
we still do not have an answer at the quarterback position. So uh, what do we do, guys? We have to take a quarterback in the draft. I think that that's the only way, guys, that we're going to fix this problem. Um, still not solidified, right? But overall, Christian McCaffrey had a good game. 25 attempts for 108 yards, 4.3 yards per carry. Uh, so he had a solid game. You know, I'm not taking that away from Christian McCaffrey. Ran the ball effectively. But he just doesn't seem to have that burst like he used to have, man, prior to all of the injuries. Maybe it's that year and six. Maybe it's the wear and tear. But did Christian McCaffrey look as burstful to y'all? I, I, I don't even know if that's a fucking word, but did he look to have that 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 takeoff speed where he can turn a negative five-yard play into a 20-yard play? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Put in the comments, man, of what y'all think about that. I just don't think that he has that explosiveness like he used to have, man. I, I don't know, man. Maybe this... You know, all of the all of the years are starting to catch up to my our boy Christian McCaffrey, man. But 108 yards, 25 attempts, that's a pretty solid game. Um, overall, though, we go 10 drives. 10 drives, guys, without a touchdown. We only scored two field goals all the way to the 12 mark, 12 minute mark of the fourth quarter. Two field goals. That's all that we were able to do, guys. You can't tell me that against a better team that would take advantage of those opportunities, we would have lost that game. That's why I feel like the Saints are so terrible because, again, we went 20, 10 straight offensive possessions without a touchdown. And, guys, that scares the fuck out of me, man, because we're about to get into the brutal part of our schedule starting next week with the Arizona Cardinals at home I just think that their offense is more capable of putting up points than what the Saints were able to do. Granted, our defense is a solid defense, but against a more high power and more efficient offense, they will take advantage of that. Guys, if we're going to win games and turn this season around and get above 500 next week, this offense is going to have to be able to score, not get field goals, but get in the end zone. That's the only way that we stand a chance. And, and, and again, the play calling, yeah, it was iffy yesterday, right? So I'm not going to put all of the blame on Matt Rule. I'm not going to put all of the bad, put blame on Ben Macaroni. But the offense just doesn't look in sync. It's not moving the ball. And when we do start moving the ball, it's later in the games, guys. That's not a recipe for a winning formula here in Carolina. We need to be able to score points when our defenses are, are making big stops. If the defense can get off the field, the offense got to be able to go down and get into the end zone. That's the only way that we're going to win games, guys, especially through these next four games, guys. These next four games is Arizona, San Francisco, uh, the Rams, and then Tampa Bay. God, this is not going to be the last three games that we played. Listen, I don't want this win to be the only win for a while. If we're going to win games, guys, we got to be able to score points. So that's my takeaway from yesterday's games. Overall, we got the dub. They have all that matters. Stand up, Panther Nation. Keep pounding. Y'all already know that we should be happy. That's, that's all I'm going to say. We should be happy about it. It was a win, but it just did not feel as good as it should because we didn't play as well that we should have. Again, we should have blown these motherfuckers out. The Saints are not good. We should have blown them out yesterday, and we still only won by a touchdown. So that's my thoughts, guys, on it. I might have gotten that score wrong on the game, too. I, whatever. I, I know we had 22. The Saints might have had, I want to say, 14. I'm not really sure. I might have gotten that score wrong on that game, but I know Carolina had 22. I don't have it right here in front of me, so fuck y'all, whoever's saying it. But anyway, uh, guys, that's my thoughts about it couple questions I want to know. Y'all make sure to put it in the comments. Baker Mayfield. I got a feeling that if he continues to play the way that he's been playing, do we see Sam Darnold when he comes back from injury? I don't know. But listen, man, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. Again, we're about to hit that 100, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Keep pounding. Keep going. And don't forget, baby. Life is just a way. Big way, dog.